Today's recipe is perfect for a cold winter's night, and believe me, we've been having plenty of those around here. It's chicken and dumplings, and the best way to start off is to make a delicious, full-flavored broth. I'm starting off by browning some pieces of chicken. This is some backs and necks of chicken. Add your chicken to a large pot. I've added a little bit of oil, about a tablespoon or so and you wanna brown your chicken pieces. This will develop a little bit of brown bits on the bottom of the pan, and that adds tons of flavor to your stock. I'm not getting them really, really brown. If you wanna get full, deep flavor, you can leave them in for about 15 minutes, and that should be fine. When they're brown enough, they'll turn easily. Now I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients. One whole chicken. You could cut it up into pieces if you want to but you don't have to. Then add three stalks of celery cut up, four medium carrots, some parsley, about five sprigs, an onion. You can peel it. If you wanna leave the stem end on, you can. It doesn't matter. And two teaspoons of black peppercorns. Then you add water to cover. Depending on the size of your pot, you'll need about eight, 10, maybe even 12 cups of water. I do find that if you cut up your chicken, you need to add less water in order to cover it, and you do end up with a richer broth. So once it's covered, just let it simmer for about 40 minutes for a delicious broth. For the dumpling portion of my chicken and dumplings, I'm making a cornmeal dumpling. I have a half a cup of fine cornmeal in this bowl. To that, add one cup of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of baking powder. Now this is gonna be a spinach dumpling, so I have an ounce of spinach that I've chopped up. You wanna whisk all your dry ingredients together with a half a teaspoon of fine salt, or if you're using coarse, you can go ahead and use a teaspoon. Then stir in your spinach. It's just one ounce of spinach that's been chopped, and three quarters of a cup of buttermilk and you wanna have 10 cups of that broth that you made simmering, and then four cups of shredded chicken from the chicken from making the broth. This is your dumpling batter, it's very easy, and then you just drop it on top of your simmering broth. Over here, I have my 10 cups of broth. Give your broth a taste, you're gonna to wanna to season it because this is now going to be a soup, and I didn't add any salt to the broth. So give it some salt teaspoon, teaspoon and a half, a little bit of pepper. And I'm going to just drop my dumpling mix on top of my simmering broth, about a tablespoon at a time, like a heaping tablespoon right on top. They don't look like much now, but they're gonna puff up and cover the top of your soup. Then what you wanna do is just cover this up and let it simmer until they're puffed and cooked through. That'll take about seven to 10 minutes. While I'm waiting for my dumplings to cook. I'm just going to finish shredding up my chicken. This is the chicken from cooking the broth. Shred it up into whatever size pieces you want. You might also want to serve this with some lemon wedges. So I'm going to cut up a lemon. I love a little bit of acidity at the end of lots of soups and stews and it's really delicious here. So a little bit of lemon goes a long way. After about seven to 10 minutes, they should be puffed. So I'm gonna add my chicken. Be careful that you don't break up your dumplings while you're adding your chicken. Find a, find a little area you can drop it in. You only wanna add your chicken at the very end because you really don't wanna overcook it. So just stir it in and then cover it up and cook it for a little bit more time, two to three minutes just to heat the chicken through. Now for the eating, the best part, why I cook. So I get to eat delicious food all the time. Spoon it up. Some of the flour has gone into the broth and thickened it up a little bit. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm so psyched to eat this. This is going to warm me from my toes to the top of my head. A little lemon. Look at that. So cozy and warm. It's like better than any diner for sure. Make this at home. You are going to absolutely adore it. So comforting.